Good morning. Hello from Bryson City. Uh, ready to do another art lesson today. Today we're going to be doing collage. Um, I've got some stuff laid out here um, so we can get started. Before I do want to get started, I wanted to mention, like I talked about yesterday, I'm having coffee with um, Pam Marks today. So if anybody knows Pam Marks, you can say, I saw one of your mugs on Facebook. So, um, Let me go ahead and um, flip the camera around and show you what I've got here. I've got um, a variety of materials already kind of laid out. So you can see what, what I'm up to. So here we go. All right. So most important, scissors. These are great too, a little exacto knife. If you are um, you know, a child, please make sure you ask a parent for help before using this. If you are... Ask your parent help before you use this. Um, it's exciting stuff. Um, scissors, very important. Also, um, I have a glue stick. This is for what we're doing. Uh, a couple different pictures, variety of pictures here. Some little little cutouts. Some uh, Jackson County Courthouse. Uh, some different things from you know different newspapers and magazines. Um, also have some uh, Upwish Gardens ticket. We'll figure out what we can do with this. Um, so, and then again, I've just found some stuff laying around here. Old newspapers, uh, an Aeromont workshop with lots of great pictures in here. So, some of them are on the smaller side, but you know what? You can cut these out and make a really cool collage. I've also got um, some of my artwork. These are some pieces that... Uh, this is from the first watercolor demo. We might cut this up today. Um, an older watercolor. I forget what that was from. Nice plant, though. Uh, Betsy's proposed treehouse. We'll see what we can do with that. Um, the picture from yesterday with the markers. So we'll probably cut some of this out as well and do something fun with that. Um, I have some also some pieces of cardboard. Don't be afraid to use uh, three-dimensional materials, pieces of cardboard, cool tissue paper that came in a package um, a while back. So I don't know, I don't remember what this was with, but I was like, wow, this is pretty cool. You can cut these out and it's really thin, so I think it'd be interesting. And then I also have, um, this is from a package as well, this uh, perforated uh, cardboard like uh, packing material. Um, be nice for some 3D effects and stuff like that. So collage doesn't have to be flat. That's why I have have these elements, so you can do some stuff with that. And then also to work on, instead of using regular paper, I have some mat board here. So there's a side, there's a colored side. Um, I have two different colors. Both of them are about the same, eight by ten, eight by eleven. It might be a little bit longer than that, but um, again, white side. Color side, this is kind of a gray blue, and then I have this sort of um, um, like a pine green or something, you know. So uh, we're going to get started here in just a second. Um, I also remembered, which I uh, speaking of, I better grab the markers. Uh, one of the things I'm going to do today, which is pretty cool, is in addition to um, cutting up all these pieces and attaching them to the paper. We're going to take the markers and draw on top of it. So we're going to actually add our own images and stuff into this, as well as using all the stuff that we've cut out. So this is good if you got a lot of markers, got books, um, you got stuff, magazines laying around, and you're sitting there thinking, I need to get rid of these. Um, this would be a great project. So the other thing um, I also want to remind everybody, um, when you cut things out, shake my finger at a couple of people when you cut things out make sure that you clean up after yourself that you throw away your paper scraps very important you don't want to have paper scraps all over the place so collage can get messy so um well anything can get messy really but um you want to make sure that you keep your workspace clean because you don't want to be gluing something and all of a sudden have a scrap piece of um paper that just randomly get stuck in there it might be cool but then again you were like 
has to be just this way. I don't understand what happened. So anyway, um, let's get switched around here. And here's my workspace. All right. Let me get it lined up good here. We'll put it over here more on this. There we go. All right. So to start off, let me grab one of these boards. I'm going to start with this green board. That's what I was thinking this morning. I had this kind of cool idea. So, so as you can see, this this paper is pretty interesting. This tissue paper. It's got some cool scenes and stuff on it. So I'm going to use this scene here with these two uh, these two ladies in the dress with the arched bridge behind them and the birds. I'm going to try and cut this out. So I'm going to start here on the corner. Instead of trying to cut this one out, we'll just make it easy. Cut out down here in the corner. I think I'll get the two birds in it too. There we go. Now this tissue paper, normally when I glue something down, what I would do is I'd, for example, this picture of the Jackson County Courthouse. I'd flip it over, I'd get the glue stick out, and I'd put my glue on this side. This tissue paper is so thin, I don't think I'm going to do that. As a matter of fact, now that I'm looking at it, I think what I'm going to do is actually this picture of the courthouse, I'm going to put it down first. So glue, you can be quite generous, quite liberal with your application of glue. Not that sticky yet. There we go. Now it's turning twisted. All right, so we're going to put the Jackson County Courthouse right here towards the center. There we go. There's number one. Next, let's see here. Um, I have this is a picture of, what does that say? Maggie Valley Country Club. <laughs> it's fun to get stuff from newspapers. You get pictures from all over our area. Here you can still pick up Smoky Mountain News for free. So, Maggie Valley Country Club. And I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to make this really interesting. If you saw what I did there, I kind of lined it up. So, let's cut out the sky off of this picture. There we go. Save that. That might be that might be important. All right. A little bit of glue on the back of this. And we're gonna line it up right here, like so. All right. Now again, here's the, see I can probably put this on here, there we go, yeah, you see a little bit of that in the background. Alright, so let's trim this up. We'll go along the bridge here, around this way, past the birds. I don't know if this tissue paper is as thin as I thought it was. No, probably not. Okay. Well, that being the case, let's go over this way some. We'll put these. We'll put these ladies in this bridge right here, and then actually after we attach this, we'll cut this off the bottom corner here. So, tissue paper. If you don't have a glue stick, something else you can do is you can also use white glue. You know, the kids' um, classroom style white glue. You can use that and put it, I would put it in a, 
uh, like a paper plate or, or something like that, or even on a piece of cardboard. And then you can just dip your finger and smear it. That works as well. Pretty nice. We're just going to let that curl up. It's sticking pretty good. I also have, which would kind of match these folks, I have this picture. Not quite sure what's going on here. I think this was from a fl from a play. Also in some back issues of the Smoky Mountain News. I think I'll just trim it up. Actually, let's do this. If you want to be really precise, if you are um, wanting exact edges and stuff, you can also get, besides scissors, you can also get yourself um, an X-Acto knife and a cutting mat, and then you can cut these bad boys out pretty close to the edges. As you can see, this is kind of tedious, <laughs> but that's okay. We got time right now to do stuff like this. And that is all right. I think when we get out of, um, when we, this is all over, we should have a uh, art show with all of our creations that we've made while we've been staying at home. I think that would be really cool. I don't know what's going on over there. That, that dude's like off the part of it so I'm just gonna cut it out like that we'll save that too I don't know I might need some might need some black so we'll put that over there in the, the to save file if it doesn't stick to my hands <laughs> all right time to apply the glue let me get one of these other boards I'm starting to run out of space I can work All right, glue all around. We're gonna put this, we'll put it more right here so she overlaps the courthouse a little bit. There he is. Okay, that's pretty good for the moment. Let's grab some, some markers. As you guys know from uh, watching previous lessons, big fan of Sharpies. I like this double-ended one. It's got the point at this end and the wedge at this end. So we're gonna get the point out here. I'm about to make my point. Like that, and then we'll go behind like this, and then across the tissue paper too. There's some other mountains behind these ladies. There we go, and off the page. Um, I've got a couple trees right here, so there's a tree, but first before I do that, I'm going to go up here. So in a way, even though I'm not doing it with scissors, I'm kind of cutting out the courthouse black outline from the Sharpie. I'll make it go like that. So it looks like it's going all the way through the trees. And on this part right here that keeps curling up, let's apply a little bit of this glue from the glue stick and attach it. There we go. And now you can see the window has kind of come through a little bit on that. There we go. Something different. <clears throat> Um, let's see here. How about we do something really, really out there? Here's the sky from this. Yep. I'm going to, I'm going to do it. Um, as I'm cutting this, I'm going to say this artwork. I think artwork is best when you let it evolve and become something else. I'm going to say that because um, a lot of folks really get wrapped up in how precious their piece of artwork is. And to be very honest, um, artwork doesn't, you know, 
I don't think there's nothing wrong with making a piece of art and then like what I'm doing right now, cutting it up or making a piece of art and turning it into something else. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is, we know this is going to come down through here like this, this one over here, make sure I'm lined up. Okay. See if I guessed right. Nope. <laughs> But now, you know what? That's good enough. <laughs> All right, trash pile, save for later pile. Okay, echo back over here. A little bit of glue. Okay, a whole lot of glue. <laughs> this here it may take a few layers for this to stick and I may need to get some heavier than this um, uh, repositional repositionable glue matter of fact let me put some on here too since this is a big piece all right Ooh, it's still wanting to come up well, I'm using heavier paper, so it's all right. Okie dokie. Here's this one, and let's say over here on this other side, um, let me get the other markers. hand here. <laughs> We're going to come through. I see some Sharpie. Trees. Trees. Just like that. We're going to come through and we'll do a couple a little cloud over here like on the other side. That, like we colored yesterday with the markers. Quickly, lightly, sketch that in. All right. Lay down. <laughs> All right. Um, for this cloud over here, it's a really cool trick. This is a, a gel pen. It's a white gel pen. So we can come in and we can fill this in with this white gel pen and get a pretty nice cloud on this green mat board. So that's a basic idea of some collage that you can do. I have some other pictures and uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and start another one um, after the video. So, but just some basic ideas. And again, um, don't be afraid to, um, to draw, to whatever. I mean, you can write on these as well.
So here's our finished collage for today. And, uh, well, partially finished. I'll finish this up later. So. So, yeah. There's a lot of possibilities with this. You can do all sorts of stuff. Um, you can get all sorts of clippings, things like that. Um, you can magazines, newspapers, old things from the mail, whatever you want to use. Um, look forward to seeing what you guys have made, whatever you want to uh, combine together. Um, post that. Um, like to see it. Um, anything um, that you'd like for me to teach in the future, I'm taking suggestions. Post those in the comments as well. Um, other than that, I hope you all have a great day. Stay safe. See you soon.